Welcome back to the Halftime Show on 1470 WTTR. McDaniel taking on her sinus on Family Weekend here at Kenneth R. Gill Stadium. Once again, I'm Luke Stilson, McDaniel College Sports Information Director. Joining me to chat for a few minutes this afternoon is Jan Woolley. Jan, senior goalkeeper on the women's soccer team, three-year starter, reigning conference defensive player of the week, reigning Miss, Miss McDaniel. Did I forget anything? No, that sounds good. <laughs> Jan, thanks for some time this week. I'm going to start where I always start. Why did you choose McDaniel? Um, it was like a small school, and I figured I wanted to play soccer, so I didn't really want to go to a big school. Um, I knew I wanted to know my professor, and I wanted them to know me, and it was close to home. So. All right. So one thing I, I think a lot of people know if they look at the roster is that you have a twin sister on the team. Yes, I do. <laughs> so talk about the dynamic of playing with your sister um, kind of, and even going to school with her. Uh, we weren't originally going to go to the same school, but, you know, it ended up we both loved McDaniel, so we came here. Uh, Claire and I have always been best friends, and we have the same group of friends. We both played uh, basketball in high school and soccer, obviously, so we've just always been very close. And in high school, she didn't play defense, so she never was right in front of me, but now in college, she literally plays center center back so she's right in front of me so there's a great deal of uh, communication there and pressure to do well so <laughs> <laughs> Luke Stilson joined by Jan Willie at halftime of McDaniel and her sinus on 1470 WTTR WTTR.com let's talk a little bit more about the team in general soccer team this season off to a good start tough one on Wednesday night though but let's try to forget about that and just focus on the 4-0 start best start since 2000 so what from your perspective what's the difference with this year's team uh, I think we've always had a very close team. You know, I've never thought, you know, we've been, I don't know. I've always thought there's been a great uh, connection with the girls on the team. But this year, I think it's all just working well. We have a great new coach, and she's just dedicated. You know, we've before, we've had a coach, but it just wasn't all there. And the dedication and the time she's putting in is just really benefiting. And we want to do well for her, and we just know we can do well with the players we have. So... It all, it all is just working out well. You mentioned one of the things I want to touch on next. Obviously, new coach this year in Sandy Lag and a South Carolina grad for our listeners out there. So tell us a little bit more about her and what it's been like playing for her. She came in the spring, so you had spring ball with her. But then as you've gone through camp and through the first mm -hmm. part of the season. Um, I would tell people that in spring season, it was kind of the most goalkeeper work I've ever done in the <laughs> last three years just because, you know, I never had the time with our previous coach to do all that work. And now I'm getting the goalkeeper reps that I need to do and things like that. And like I said, she's just dedicated and she wants us to do well academically and on the field. So she's just there for us in every way possible. Let's talk a little bit more of that 4-0 start. What's been what's been kind of one thing you want to point you you point to as to why the hot start this year? Um I just think and plus all of us seniors we were just like girls we know we can do it. Like we could in the past and it just wasn't all working and this year we were all just finally like it's our turn. Let's do it and let's put everyone else thinking what is this McDaniel team you know mm -hmm. where did they come from but we were always here we were always you know competitive but this year we just finally were like we're gonna do it and we have the fresh new freshmen here with their fresh legs doing <laughs> you know whatever they can to score goals and things like that and then we have other people stepping up which is awesome Going in Bermar today, actually, you guys are going to be on the field while this interview is airing. So, but rebounding off that tough loss on Wednesday, getting back on track, and Wednesday night kind of serve as kind of a refocusing moment mm -hmm. for the team. Um, you know, Wednesday was tough. It's a conference game. We knew we should have won, but you know, whatever. We're back there today, right now, actually <laughs> playing Bryn Mawr. But uh, Bryn Mawr is, you know, one of those games we should win, but you know, we're not going to go in with our heads too high. We're going to you know, play a game every way. Like, we're going to play our game, not go down to their w level. We're just going to play our game and score a lot of goals early. That's the key. Let's talk about um, the defense. Uh, everyone who's been to a McDaniel women's soccer game knows that you're a very vocal goalkeeper back there. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. So talk about, but let's talk about, you know, you kind of organizing that defense from the back and the defense you've got in front of you. I mean, you mentioned Claire's in front of you, obviously. Kristen Hart's a great defender in front of you. Um, Katie Little, I guess, back there mm -hmm. sometimes. Talk about that defense in front of you and working together as a defensive unit. And obviously three shutouts already mm -hmm. this year. Um, 
yes, I talk, but I don't really – I don't think I control the defense as much. I'll say, hey, she's over here, you know, she's behind you, Hillary or something. And like I just said, Hillary, she's always played forward for us, but now she's back on the defense and doing amazing. And Katie Little we have on our left side who does awesome over there too. And it's more – Claire and Kristen Hart who just control that center and they do most of the talking so I feel like any team has to come up against us is going to have a rough time with our defense. You're kind of the encouraging voice back. Yes, I would say that. Just win this ball, get it, you know. Right. It's always always entertaining uh, setting at the scorer's table and listening to Jan chat back there. It's it's an experience if you haven't noticed if you haven't been to a McDaniel women's soccer game. Let's talk also about the offense. You mentioned, you know, scoring mm -hmm. lots of goals are really kind of the key today. Uh, offense has been clicking I would say mostly on all cylinders early on, little struggles again, of course, on Wednesday. But talk about that offense, um, scoring goals early. Megan Sturgill, winners of Belgrade, um, Chloe Gorman coming in, mm -hmm. um, Maggie Quinn scored a couple goals last week. Talk about that, that offensive unit and kind of the taking the pressure off the defense by scoring some goals early. Yeah, it has been great. Previously in years, we've just been playing a defensive game and, you know, we've been maybe averaging four shots a game. And now we're getting four shots in the first, I don't know, five minutes, something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It just feels like a completely different game. If we get the ball up there, we can just keep it up there. We can pressure them. We're doing awesome. And we're having different people score. We've had Julia Pope, Meg, Sam, mm -hmm. and then freshmen coming up, Chloe and Maggie and things like that. I probably missed them. I don't know. Because last year we had, I think it says 13 goals all season, and now we already have 11 in the first five games, four right. games, five, five games. Five games, yeah. So it's just, it's amazing how this whole turnaround, it's, it's amazing if you shoot, what will happen? It, it you is. Know? It is. It's you gotta, just, you got to shoot to score the ball. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> I want to go back to you know, when it wasn't it wasn't your, your end of the field, but the other end of the field. But goalkeeper's mindset, two penalty kicks for us on Wednesday night. Goalkeeper's mindset going into a penalty kick. Meg stepped up on the first one. I know went left, got it, and then. But then back on the line, same goalkeeper, mm -hmm. same striker. So talk about that mindset, especially the second time around on a penalty kick. Oh, I don't know. Um, I just don't really like penalty <laughs> kicks at all. But, you know, you just have to go in as a shooter and as a goalkeeper positive. You know, you just got to think, I'm going to stop this. And that's what the goalie was thinking, you know. And Meg, you can't even be mad at Meg. She's already thinking you know, thinking too many things like, what if I shoot the same spot? Am I going to shoot, you know? And you can't even be mad at something like that. Plus, in that game, we had way more opportunities than just those penalty kicks to make it a better game for ourselves. Right. And you know what? We're looking past that F&M game already, so... I had that same I'm setting the scorer's table after the second penalty kick and saying, all right, do you double the goalkeeper up and you go opposite mm -hmm. because she's going the same way. A lot of things going through your head on that same time. So we wrap things up here, Jan... Luke Stilson joining, joined by Jan Woolley, halftime of the Green Terror and the Bears, 1470 WTTR, WTTR.com. Final thoughts from you on soccer so far this season, the rest of the soccer season, your senior year, McDaniel in general, your final thoughts as we wrap things up. You know, it's been a great start, and I just hope to continue with how it's going, um, continue scoring continue keeping the ball out of the back of the net. I just hope we keep winning and playing the game we know we can. So let's do it for the team and let's do it for our seniors because we deserve it. Absolutely. And we'll see where the trips fall and maybe the playoffs at the end of the year. I hope so. Thanks for your time, Jan. Thank Good luck you. the rest of the way. Thank you. You're listening to Central Maryland Sports Leader, 1470 WTTR and WTTR.com. Halftime at McDaniel and Ursinus. Back to Kenneth R. Gill Stadium with Steve and Mike to break down the first half, get you set for the second half right after this.